and you've written a replies to this committee, <coughs> there is an answer, and I would like you to clarify. In the question number six, about the opportunity to promote or no a revision of the ECB's monetary policy framework, you refer to the changes that have happened since the beginning of the crisis, but don't offer a clear, affirmative, or negative answer. The current framework dates from 2003, sometimes before the start of the financial crisis and the use by the ECB of unconventional measures. Since then, the natural or the equilibrium interest rate has been uh, reduced, which derived from condition and factor resulting from secular stagnation, while lower bond constraints monetary policy. So I agree with Ferber that we will have to increase the natural or the equilibrium interest rate, but the natural, not the nominal <laughs> interest rate. In these circumstances, it will be worthwhile to reanalyze the conceptual framework of monetary policy, of course, within the ECB mandate, to study the option for increasing the natural interest rate, which in turn will allow to ECB to expand the tools it uses and its scope of intervention in the face of a future crisis, such as a clarify of the inflation target and its asymmetry, set an objective of prices level, or the study of the introduction of digital money, among others. Will you support and push for a review of the ECB's monetary framework as Bank of Canada or Federal Reserve are doing now? And please, can you be more concrete than in your written answer? Thank you so much. Gosh, I tried really hard in my written answer to be as um, exhaustive and sometimes overly technical on some, in some respects. But to come back to, you, to your particular question, 2003 is a long time ago, and many things have changed since 2003. That's as far as the ECB is concerned. If we look at other central banks, highly respected and reputable, the Bank of Canada does a review of its monetary framework every five years. The Fed has embarked in a review of its monetary framework, uh, which you know, started about six months ago or so, and is intended to last for about 12 months in order to canvas all the voices and uh, take stock of all views uh, in relation to that framework. I believe that under the current presidency of uh, President Draghi, there is already elements of re-exploring or examining some of the components of the monetary mm -hmm. framework. I think in particular uh, that the points that, was ma that were made uh, back in July in order to determine whether inflation uh, at close to but below 2% should be attained from below or should be attained in a, a symmetric way uh, is already a way to review elements of the uh, monetary um, policy framework. I think the clarification of the aim is also something that has already been a little bit uh, explored, uh, not in saying exactly what the aim is, you know, what, what is the meaning of close to but below 2%. Are we talking about 1.6? Are we talking about 1.9? There is clearly, you know, flexibility in between. And my understanding of what the ECB governing council is, is now saying, or certainly the president, is that it is not the 1.6. It doesn't say exactly what it is. I think that, you know, all those who have been in central banking appreciate the subtlety of all that, not everybody does. And actually, as was mentioned by the, um, uh, I think it was the Central Bank Governor of Australia at Jackson Hole, where all central bank governors get together. He said something like, would anybody on the street understand why we're spending so much time on trying to define the close to, but not more than 2%. So I think that we need to, number one, clarify, explore, take stock of views, and assess the impact and determine whether on a cost-benefit basis we need to 
better clarify the framework. So I would certainly uh, be encouraging that movement, which obviously will have governing council uh, review in order to be decided.